So our first project uh, is a mashup of two classic video games. And uh, it's only been live for less than a week now, but it's already kind of gone viral in the full stack community. And uh, that actually made it a little bit difficult for some of our other <laughs> teams to uh, practice their presentations for today. Uh, I would have said more about this project, but I've been too busy playing the game myself to really hear a proper introduction. So I'm going to let them take it's it away. The biggest strategy to win the Developers Award is to sabotage everyone else from working by making them play your game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I, I won't say any more about it. I'll, I'll let them show you. Here are the uh, developers behind Trinal Fetris 2. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. My name is Joseph Knobel, and my partners are Sangu Kim and Eric Shuttlesworth, and together we made a 2D puzzle role-playing game called Trinal Fetris 2. Trinal Fetris 2 is a fusion between two popular classics, Tetris and Final Fantasy 2. Our game was built to entertain anyone who loves puzzle games, as well as give something fresh and nostalgic to fans of role-playing games. And now, to pass it off to Sangu to learn more about how and why to play our game. Thanks, Joseph. Have you ever been at work with five or 10 minutes to kill before your boss notices you haven't made any progress on that presentation due Friday? Have you ever been home alone when you thought you'd be out watching the game, drinking a cold one with the boys and girls? Then Try No Fetchers 2 is the perfect game for you. You can play our game on any laptop or desktop computer. You play the game just like normal Tetris, and speed of the game increases as you level up your character. Random battles will occur throughout your playtime. You have to manage between keeping the board clean and destroying the enemies. You can cast spells for quick bursts of deadly damage or clearing bottom rows from your board. And watch out, the enemies will also have their own blocks to drop and not where you want them. If the board fills up, that's game over. Play again to fight in more battles and level up your character. The gameplay is meant to both have depth and be accessible to those who are not familiar with the franchises. From the get-go, we didn't want to focus on building an entire game engine from scratch, so we decided to use PhaserJS. Phaser is great because it allowed us to organize the game states, handle assets, and manage system resources with ease. Phaser took a lot of stress off of our shoulders and allowed us to focus on what was important, making Tetris work with Final Fantasy elements. And now, to hear more about how we did that, let's pass the controller to Eric. Thank you, Songu. Tetris and Final Fantasy II are fundamentally different games. When we first started programming, we spent a lot of time figuring out how to make both game concepts work together. Our initial approach had many complicated game timers where player attacks and magic spells were separate from the Tetris game itself, and as we began sequencing the Tetris game and RPG mechanics together, we ran into trouble managing assets and memory leaks. We overcame many of these issues by counting each block placement as a single player turn, both in and out of battle. Once we did this, we were able to reduce the game to its most fundamental parts. Trinal Fetris 2 is built with three main components, the battle manager, the player manager, and of course, the Tetris manager. The battle manager randomly creates battle instances while the player is out of combat. The player manager keeps track of all the important player stats, such as what spells you can cast and how strong the basic attacks are. The Tetris manager is the meat and potatoes of our game. It keeps track of the board, what blocks are being dropped, and handles any incoming changes, such as line sweeps and enemy attacks. And now, back to Joseph. Thank you, Eric. As you can see, this game was a passion project for all three of us. Song, Eric, and I love video games, and when we signed up for Full Stack Academy, we never imagined we would walk away with the skills and knowledge to build our very own game. But now we've done it, and we're really proud of the work we did. There were quite a few late night sessions scratching our heads and slamming our fingers on the keys, but in the end, Song, Eric, and I had a lot of fun building Toronto Fetris 2. The game is now deployed for everyone to enjoy. Check it out at trinal fetris iiherokuappcom And again, thank you for coming. Please enjoy the rest of the presentations today. Are you sure we can't take a break in the, in the uh, presentation to play this game for a little bit? 
you know, I used to play competitive t- t- Tetris and speedrun Final Fantasy, so I think I'd be pretty good at this game. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound right. fair, David. <laughs> All right, so is that a challenge? <laughs> it's early in the uh, in the game, so um, just want to give a reminder to vote for Trinal Fetris. Uh, like the post and like that pinned comment, and um, and you can check them out trinalfetris-2.herokuapp.com. All right, thanks a lot. That's all. That was really cool. And I and one thing is that I love the high fidelity they made to both those games. You know, the, the Final Fantasy two is it brought back a lot of memories and nostalgia. So I can tell they're definitely passionate gamers as well. Yeah, and I can tell you from experience that it's a lot of fun to play. <laughs>